What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and we are back with our franchise mode as the Montreal Canadiens picking up where we left off. We're up here at the deadline. We we're just seeing if we wanted to make that trade for Duchesne. Most of you guys were saying make the trade. So um, uh, the best suitor looks like the uh, the Rangers. Now, they don't want to give up their pick and someone was saying you could throw in you know Arizona's pick or other things like that. Now, I'll take a look at that but I, I do want to be pretty... Uh, pretty thorough about this for sure because i want to get as much back as i can while yeah i'll basically yeah <laughs> well still you know what i mean i don't know i don't know basically as much back as i can get i feel like there should be more to that statement because my mind is somewhere i don't know but um so that first um, technically it will go through because if you look at the value, but it probably won't because they don't want to give it up. It's probably going to be a hell of a good pick this year. Um, and I kind of want, I was kind of thinking about getting something else for it as well. So, and again, we'd have to take, we, we would have to take someone back. Now this could work, but the thing is the guy I was going to check out was even though I don't think he gets that great or he, maybe he can, I don't know. Maybe they've improved him a bit because he's 83 at 20 now. You just throw him on the second line or something like that. See if he gets better or um, let's see, is he still on the, yeah, he's still on a rookie deal, 0.7. Um, see, people are saying either Hershey or Valeno. Now, I'd rather look at Valeno since we got Lind, uh, the reason, I, I, I like Her, uh, Hishier, Hershier, whatever, yeah, Hishier, sorry. Um, I like him, but the thing is, we got Lind and we got Galchenyuk, both two-way forwards in our top six. I don't think I would really be looking for that. I would rather go for Valeno right here, for sure. Um... So if we were trying to get that, we could take him back. That's a lot. Like, that's a lot of value. Plus, it's two guys that they don't want to give up. Now, I'm going to try to go for it. And in this case, I would throw in uh, Arizona's pick. I They might be accepting picks. They are. So Arizona's pick would be the best one to throw in there. But how's value? Very close. I think it's actually less value than they would be... Um, yeah, then they would be giving up. And it's two things that they don't want to give away. I'll try it just to see maybe something will happen. Yeah. Um... The value just isn't where it is, okay. But they like they like the pick. Now I can hold on to that pick and throw in Anaheim's or uh, no 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 sorry Anaheim's next. We could throw in Detroit, who's kind of on the brink. But I'd kind of rather not do that in case they fall out and um, for for some reason win the lottery. That would kind of be giving it up. Um, yeah, I would rather it be Arizona's pick, but it's not looking like that great. So if we take out this year's first, since we already have three firsts, we could always move up. Uh, maybe not theirs. They want to give up next year's. Now, it's a bit more risky for sure to get that one. But if we're going to get Valeno as well, then maybe it'll be worth it. So what we're looking at here is I'll show you why I would kind of want to do this. If we're taking away another prospect who could get better. That would be fantastic because, yeah, sure, they still have Zemenejad and Stepan, but they got no wingers. They got Zuccarello, Kreider, and Hayes, and that's kind of it. Everyone else is not that great. Grop, I don't think he's top nine. They got uh, Van Root, JV. Oh, what the hell happened to JVR? JVR got ruined somehow, but they don't really have wingers. Like, if you look at, I can't really just look at wingers, but, I mean, hell, you see. Like, look at it. They got two centers and then nothing really after that. I mean... Yeah, they don't really have too much. So they, and their record this year, it's alluding to the fact that they're probably not going to be a good team next year, even with everything here. Shea will get better, sure, maybe. But I don't see anyone who would really, really skyrocket them into the right direction. And Lunkvist is almost gone. So they're going to have no goalie next year, by the looks of it. Um, this could, well, I mean, he could stick around. But again, I would, I would love it if he stuck around, to be honest, because then they'd be stuck with him. So, you know... I would love to do this. Try to get Valeno and the first from their the year out from uh, next year, basically. So we'd be stacked on those first picks if we got that one, because um, I'll show you our picks from this year. We have quite a few uh, firsts and a few seconds as well, a couple thirds, and then next year what we'll have right now we have four firsts next year. So we're gonna, again, no matter what, we're gonna have two very strong years of drafting. Arizona's might not be as strong, but you never know. Maybe they falter next year. So a lot of firsts, no seconds from that next year though so if we were to do this we could throw in someone's second they don't want a second but to get the value there it might have to be that i kind of don't want to give up the first but they might they might be the only way to get it so i'll try to throw in we have uh toronto's i'll try to throw in that second it looks a bit closer i doubt it'll go through but we're gonna try like i said i want to try to get everything out of these guys so duchene for valeno and a second for a first basically right here let's see if that'll work holy crap it's gonna work now, I could cheese it and cancel and see if I can get anything else out of them, which I almost will because I'm cheesy as hell. 
<laughs> oh, that seems cheap as hell, but you know what? This game cheeses me enough. Uh, I don't even think I can get anything. Even if I could steal a fourth or something like that, which probably isn't going to amount to much, but we'll do it. And will that... That'll still... Okay, so that's what... Okay, so we had it We had it right the first time. All right, so fine. I'll take it. I'll take it, man. All right, so... There we go. All right, so... Duchesne leaves, and we're picking up some uh, some good stuff here. I like it. <laughs> uh, so some people going to lose some morale, sure. Um, but that's all right, basically. We're going to be fine. Um, make more roster moves. I bet it's going to be bullcrap. I bet I could just go to edit lines like I... Oh, whoa. They're actually... Oh, it must be compliant. Hold on. Whoa, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. We need to bring someone up because it's probably... Yeah, not enough money. So hold on a sec. Okay, well, we're going to bring up Valeno no matter what. Yep, bring up Valeno. And is that enough? Okay, that should be enough then. Yeah, it looks like it's enough. P perfect. All right, so there we go. Now, for wow, well, I would why'd sure back get worse. I must made the, uh, let me see here. Okay, recent. Okay, that is the trade. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna keep him where he is then. Okay. Um, now I can move up Udon, which I might do for the sole purpose of I would rather play Valeno in his role right now, and he's gonna be playing with. Uh, a, another playmaker and a power forward, which, hey, you never know how they do together. We'll put him there. I might move him up if uh, if I can, but we're going to put him in here. Boom, maybe give him some power play time or something like that, but we're throwing him in here. He's listed to be a third liner, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, we're going to hopefully, hopefully he grows. I'm hoping he will. Uh, let me just fix these lines real quick. If it doesn't take long, I'll just keep this in here, but, oh, yeah, it is, might take a while because of all this crap. All right, give me a sec. All right, so got all the lines taken care of. So here's what we're looking at. Pretty similar first line, second line. We got Hoot on there now with, uh, yeah, two two-way forwards. It's probably not going to do too well with a sniper especially, but we'll see. Um, I'm kind of almost considering wanting to move Lekkonen back down. And I actually think I might want to because he's, I don't know, he's doing he's doing good there, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like maybe he's playing out of his element and he shouldn't be. So maybe for the last part of the season, move him down. Give McCarron a chance. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do that. I think he's, he's doing fine, but he has a minus 10. Um, Sherback is probably a, not as much of a minus. So we're going to try this out. See if they can work well together for the latter part of the season. Um, and I, I just wanted to give Valeno a bit more to work with. Two playmakers and a sniper. That could be really good. Um, so we'll see. And then we got two two-way forwards and a power forward there. Anyway, um, defense, excuse me, obviously still the same. But for the power play, I went with this threw in why whoa 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 that's not what was supposed to happen here what the whoa 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 oops my bad yeah <laughs> something went weird because it was not like that a second ago yeah i'm giving uh valeno the power play time okay i guess it didn't do a... all right anyway and he's also on the four man as well so we're we're putting the younger guys in there and that, that's you know what what we got to do at this point so there's our big trade right now <laughs> That was quite the trade for sure. All right, but we got another pick for next year. A lot of firsts for next year, so that'll be that'll be good. And we have seconds where we can move up with those this year. So, again, we have a lot of options moving forward. So, I think that's pretty much it. We can get into simming now. Yeah, I think so. All right. I think that's all I want to do. I didn't see any other good ideas, and that's really all I could come up with as a big, uh, big move. We did a lot of big moves. We could move Petrie, but, yeah, I don't know. He's, play, he's placeholding right now, and we wouldn't get too much back for him. So we could trade him maybe next year or something like that. But uh, if we don't, then we don't. It doesn't matter too much. Um, anyway, let's keep going here, and basically we'll finish off the season and then check out all the stats. So let's see how much further we can tank here because we probably will. Uh, they're going to offer us some trades. I don't want Hayes. Nope, 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 nope. I just don't want any trades. They want to trade us again. Yeah, nope, not happening. Although they do want to start trading away wingers and get more picks. So that's looking like they, they that pick will have good value next year. Unless for some reason they're just going to be tear, like, tearing up next year. Like for some reason the Coyotes did this year. Which when I look at their team, like when, when we looked at it, man, they had good defense, good goaltending. But they had like crap offense, which is why it surprised them. Like if they don't score, they're not going to have a good year, right? Um, apparently not. I mean, it was, the tr it was the case that that when I was with Detroit, man, we couldn't score for crap. And um yeah it showed all right uh let's see i've gone there there's another one over here right no i guess not okay anyway let's go here now for a month or so 12 guys we do five weeks at the other place i might go five weeks here actually no it was yeah i'll do a month here in the u.s for forwards there we go 
All right. I forgot what I was doing. I do that a lot. I'll say something in the last video, and then when I get here to record, I forget. So, there we go. Now, what the hell is this? We're doing okay. We're supposed to lose more. <laughs> all of a sudden, we're winning more, man. That's a little weird. Whatever. All right. We're going to just all of a sudden be a playoff team here for no reason. That'd be hilarious. All right. Um, yeah, a bit of a winning streak right now. Okay, then we, then we fell back down. A lot of overtime losses, which is, uh, that'd be great if we were making a playoff run. I wouldn't mind too much. Okay, let's beat Detroit because we got, ah, I don't know, actually, because it's like, I want to tank. Okay, they beat us. So I kind of also don't want Detroit to do good because we have one of their picks. <laughs> oh, man. All the decisions of people you want to do bad just to make yourself get better picks, including yourself. So it's like, do we beat Detroit? Or in that case, I would have preferred to beat them because we're probably out of the playoffs. I want to knock them out of the playoffs at the same time. All right, spoil Detroit. Let's go. Win. Don't give them a point. Yeah, there we go. All right. Hopefully that helps maybe try to knock them out a bit. Now we can just lose the rest of these. I don't care. I don't care about any of these teams. I don't have any picks from them. Just lose. All right, don't let the media hear that, though. They don't want to hear about the GM up in the press box urging his team to lose and is uh, into talking to himself or whatever. Um, all right, that's done. So I think we could go towards the B places now. Yeah, we could check out the B places. Might have to go a little extra. Like, oof, there's 16 guys there. It's not going to be too accurate. How long do we got? Okay, I'll do five weeks because it's 16. And it's not super accurate. So we'll try that five weeks there. And then for the other places, I'll, I'll try to feel it out. I want to get as many guys scouted as possible, basically. All right, so there we are. A few losses to end the season. 34, 37, and 11. Probably last in our division, I would guess. Oh, uh, no, we actually... Oh, but yes, Detroit did not make the playoffs. So beautiful. That pick uh, has a bit better value now, so that's good. And, you know, we have a lot more chances to win the lottery in any case. So that's good. All right, all right, let's check it out. Let's see how... don't really care about how the team did. We did. A, we had a bad team, but let's see point producing wise. All right, so Skinner was our leading point producer, almost 70 points. Galchenyuk, same thing, 20 goals, almost 50 assists, so good job. Gallagher, pretty good, not quite a 30-goal score, but... Excuse me, Skinner got there, so it's all good. All right, Lind, he got that 50 points, beautiful. 55-point season for him, so I'm hoping he should get a good jump because we did play him back on the first line for a bit of it, so that's good. Udon... Uh, 41 points. He did play second line for half of that. Lekkinen got 40 points. We did move him down there, so I'm not too sure. Um, there's Sherback. How about Valeno? We can't... 19... Okay, so we played him. We could have played him. Uh, he was in the CHL when we picked him up. I guess we could have kept him there, but I, I I decided, you know, why not give him a chance? He's only a minus one. He got 10 points in 19 games. That's actually not bad at all for the third line. I'm completely happy with that, man. Hell yeah. Awesome. Hopefully that helps him out. And sure back and yeah, like an ugh. That my, I was just looking at that plus minus. All right, defensively, there's Petrie, Yulsin, Bolyu, Sergachev got some decent amount of points. And minus 16 though. Hopefully he gets a jump. Even though I know he's only 21, but I'm pretty sure he was already grown by this time in Detroit. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure by this time he was on his way up. But yeah, what can we do? If it if he busts, he busts, man. Like I said, it's not like we had to give anything up from. All right, so uh. Rusu did a bit better, but he's still 79, so it's a bit unfortunate. Uh, I was hoping, yeah. I know he is listed to be a minor starter, so I am rushing it along, but again, it doesn't matter too much. Um, and yeah, I know some people were saying to look at a goalie like Murray or something like that. I, I will indeed. That's definitely got to be a priority for us. Um, there's also a couple more I had in mind, but I wanted to see what was going to be in this first draft anyway. Oh yeah, I should check out the NHL as well. So that's my draft strategy going in. Kind of see maybe there's a goalie available. Maybe not. Um, if in any case we could trade for a, a, a pretty good one, like Murray wouldn't be bad. Um, I think at this point though, he might be almost close to maxed out. Um, sorry, I'm keep forgetting what I'm doing here. Um, and uh, I would, I would, I would like to look at Thatcher Demko, but I'm, I guarantee there's no way Vancouver would want to give him up because they are pretty much rebuilding. Uh, or maybe done with their rebuild by now. Anyway, uh, Tyler Sagan led in points. Jamie Ben close behind, so Dallas actually had a good year. Tarasenko, 91 points. Taves, uh, Johansson, Kane, Ovechkin. All right, let's look at goals. Who's the leading goal scorer? Ovechkin with 48. No one hit 50, but he got close. Pretty good. How about the assist man? Uh, it was Taves indeed. All right, so there you have it. Uh, defensively, let's see. All right, point, uh, Carlson, wow, point of game player. Ekblad, close behind. The, what the fuck, 96? Holy crap. 
Uh, that's a little... I wouldn't have made him a green elite EA. I would... I, he's good. Don't get me wrong, but... You're saying he's already going to be better than Carlson? Too too soon to too soon to tell, in my opinion, but whatever. There's Krug. 70 C? He's an 86 getting 74 points. Calm down on Ekblad, EA. Relax. There's uh, OEL. And uh, pretty good. All righty. There's Burns down here. Is he declining? Oh, yeah. He's declining. Uh, 88. Yeah. Starting to decline. All right. Goaltender-wise. Let's see who led the league in coolness for goaltenders. All righty. Uh, let's just sort by games played. If I can get back there. Thank you. All righty. So Martin Jones is a workhorse, but not a very good workhorse. Oh, man. Poor guy. <laughs> not the best stats. Dubnik, same thing. Not the best stats. All right. So Schneider could be one. He's looking like the best thus far. Uh, Yeah. Not the greatest of uh, goals. Yeah, I think it's going to be Schneider. It is looking like Schneider. So he looks like Schneider will be taking home the Vesna with a uh, pretty, pretty decent... Uh, stats for a goalie oh wow 34 he's almost there all right so that should about take care of everything yeah i think so all right so a bit of a shorter video i do apologize but we got the draft coming up in the next video that should be fun man we got some got some good picks let's uh let's take one more look at it oh yeah we can't cool all right we can't really make a trade but oh they won't even let us yeah derp i was like oh yeah let's take a look at our picks yeah can't even get into it. All right. Anyway, so I think we got three firsts or yeah, three firsts. Uh, I think only two seconds now and some other stuff. I already forgot. See, I'm stupid as hell. All right. Anyway, drafting the next one. We should draft heavy. We should get some good guys. I'm excited to see about the jumps. Hopefully, Valeno gets a good jump. He did have a pretty good end of the year there, but we'll see. We'll all see in the offseason. All right. So I will see you guys in the draft. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you then.